Hello, so I thought I'd make a very quick video about this machine which I'm restoring um, for a lady and I say restoring, it's actually never really been used so it's in really brilliant condition um, apart from the fact that the sponge bar had crumbled and filled it with gunk um, so now it's had a good old clean but it's got this really interesting needle selection system you see on most, um, certainly brother or punch card machines you've got a sort of belt which goes around there like that comes around there, around the back and this thing locks into the belt and it sort of twizzles it. And what it does is it runs this thing round and around and around, which repeatedly runs these little feelers into a punch card. Now, anytime there's a hole, um, it does the thing which uses a selector gate. Now, this is really, really difficult to see. But if you have a look right way down between the cracks, you might, if I push some of these needles forward, you might just be able to see, if you're very, very lucky, um, some little um uh sort of metal strips like these things here okay these metal strips here and what they do um is they move so if i push one you might want to see one move uh let's see if i can get this right hold on uh like so okay and that's one needle's worth and what that does is it um, stops every, in this case, 12th needle from moving down. And when it stops from moving down, um, it can't then be pushed down by the carriage, which then means it sends it down a different path and selects the needle. Now, on this case, um, with most punch card machines, what you have, you have eight of these little gates. Um, and it just runs around and around and around, selects the first eight, then the next eight, then the next eight as you run the carriage along the bed. So it's constantly feeling the punch card. This thing does something rather brilliant. So let me just first first show you it moving across. As, like that's normal. Okay. Um, so this thing selects all 24 needles at once um, by means of a cunning lever that gets pushed. So if you have a look at this. Okay, now look. Isn't that cool? So that means that instead of having eight of these little things, these little metal bits here, um, you've got 24 individual ones under the bed and a further 12 here. So you can not only select by punch card, but you can also select by push button. So if I set it to select the needles, you will see when I run it over, every 12th needle will be selected forwards. Like so. And if I select some more... I've got to hold both hold the camera and push some buttons, but if I select one, two, and three, and then select them, you'll see it select. Isn't that a brilliant mechanism? It's completely bonkers, um, and uh, genuinely one of the favourite, my favourite things I've seen uh, so far in the knitting machine. Um, so I just thought you might enjoy that. Thank you very much. Bye bye.